All right, everyone, got ourselves another unboxing here. And uh, I tend to say first look alongside unboxing my titles. But when I say first look, I mean it in the sense of it's my first time looking at it. And most likely, if you're watching this video, it's your first time looking at it as well. I don't mean that it's brand new in the market, you know, that it just came out, whatever, because I'm not as lucky as the other professional um, reviewers and unboxers on YouTube that get the brand spanking new stuff in their mail. So, got ourselves an AMD Radeon HD 6450 by Gigabyte. One Gigabyte uh, DDR3. This is their OC version, though I'm going to elaborate, explain that a little bit in a moment because I think they're semi off there, maybe really the OC is not as, the overclock is not as um, great as, as, excuse me, as uh, high as you would hope. Uh, right now, I don't think I have the best lighting here. I just switched areas for a moment. Hey, you know what? Let me go ahead and switch. Hold on. All right, it turns out it's not just me. It's the fact that this box has kind of the, you know, glossy, a little bit of glossiness to it, so it's throwing off the uh, focus. Oh, yeah, big time. Anyways, so here we go. Actually, let me uh, check that out. There we go. Comes with uh, DVI, D sub, which would be VGA, CRT, whatever, HDMI. Uh, yeah, that's your package contents, basically. Comes with a low profile bracket as well, thank God. Uh, when I got this, I was, I mean, I'm always, I always feel a little bit, you know, um, skeptical when the box has no wrapping on it. It just comes like this. <laughs> Anyone can reach in and get something, or it just feels so cheap. You can get these in stores around 50 to 60 bucks. Let's see what they have to say for themselves over here. Uh, oh yeah, gold plated HDMI port. That just makes the uh, contact between the port and your actual HDMI plug cable um, a little more. It makes the contact uh, a little more secure, so to speak, because uh, gold is a lot more uh, malleable. It's a softer type of metal, so when you put it in there, just you're not getting faster, you know, transfer speed, so to speak. You know, the um, quality really, but you're not, you know, if you wiggle it a little bit, you're not going to be losing any, um, you're not going to have any issues. Let's just put it that way. All right, so, wow, I can't even see this. Oh, here we go, almost. All right, that's close enough. There we go. And there goes my hand again. Supports DirectX 11, of course, I would hope so. Uh, OpenGL 4.1, blah, 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 blah. Shader model 5.0, blah, 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 blah. All right, yep, 64-bit memory bus. Uh, PCIe 2.1, blah, 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 okay. And, whoop, excuse me. Got yourself a user manual. Nice and thick, too. Several languages. But uh, pretty self-explanatory. It goes over several models, so obviously this book comes in, uh, so this same book comes in other uh, model boxes as well. Mine, uh, this one here, is the GVR6450C 1GI. Um, driver disk. Make sure to go to the site, uh, either Gigabyte or uh, Gigabyte site for their utilities off of the, that that comes that come on this CD, but uh, get their latest ones off their site or go to the uh, AMD site for the uh, ATI or AMD Catalyst um, Control Center. And as you can see, there's nothing in here, so I lied. It's already in the system. I, f I almost cursed. There's your low-profile bracket using an HTPC or small form factor uh, case. That's nice. And they all came with little covers for the actual interfaces. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, card in the system in a moment. Stick around. Alrighty, so here we have the card itself. Got your uh, PCI 16X, uh, PCIe 16X in interface right there. A little puny fan, but it's not that loud. Uh, let me show you the back. Got our VGA, HDMI, DVI. Left the uh, covers there just, just because I'm not using them anyways. Oh, let me see. Show you the back here of the PCB. Kind of a lot going on there, actually. You can see right there in the center, that's where the GPU is. Got some memory modules right there. Nice blue PCB made in China. Lovely. And that is pretty much it. Um, the system I actually had it in is, um, put this over here, crap. Uh, not a good idea to be putting it on the cushion. Only static, but whatever. 
This is one ghetto system right here. This is a Pentium D935. Isn't the best. It's Intel's first uh, dual core, so it's not exactly the most efficient dual core. It's essentially two Pentium 4s wrapped together on one die, so... It's all right, but I'm actually, I think I'm actually getting bottlenecked a little bit by this CPU because the uh, frame rates I'm getting on certain games are not the best. But then again, it's expected since, you know. Uh, but uh, if you want to run games off of this, um, sure, just, you could on a dual core just not like this, not a Pentium D, please don't do that. I mean, it works, but it's not the greatest. Even with this card installed, this Pentium D is constantly at 100% load during uh, heavy games, even uh, heavy flash games, even with this um, GPU installed. So, but running this card with, with let's say, like an i3 uh, Athlon 2x2, Phenom 2x2, that's certainly going to benefit a lot, uh, benefit you a lot more. Your frame rates are definitely going to be steady. They're going to jump up. Um, Playing Crisis, uh, Battlefield 3, I will not say that this will run it on high, most likely not. This is, again, like my other video, an entry-level card. Uh, but you should be able to run things more or less on medium. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just like I said, don't expect, you know, sky's the limit, but uh, it's going to depend on the rest of your system as well. Got four gigs of a DDR2800 on here. <laughs> yes. And Pentium D with an Intel board. This thing is cluttered. There's no cable routing, so just deal with it. I'm probably putting this thing on load so much. There's a no name cheapo PSU 300 watts with two hard drives. Pentium D running at 95 watts. And this. <laughs> no optical drives at all. This is running as my. Uh, uh, more recent HTPC. I had a smaller case running an AMD F1 single core before, but uh, I got this Pentium D for free, so I figured why not? It's, it's got to be at least you know five percent, five percent better than the uh, Athlon single core from my other HTPC, and it kind of is. So whatever. But all right, so that is it. Thanks for watching. If you have any uh, requests, if, anything is, if there's anything particularly you'd like me to do an unboxing of or at least review, new, old, ancient, doesn't matter, just let me know. Subscribe. Thanks.